Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, we are on top of the hour now, 10 a.m. Riyadh time, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, Europe time, and 11 a.m. Riyadh time. I want, first of all, I would like to thank everybody who has attending, uh, who was subscribed and registered for this webinar and is attending uh, the webinar uh, this morning. Uh, welcome, and uh, we will start uh, with the uh, presentation uh, for COVID-19 surfaces helping to enhance hygiene and infection control uh, in healthcare environments. So uh, the content of this webinar is quite ex uh, intensive. Uh, we will try to cover everything in the time that's allowed for us. It's a 60 minute webinar. So uh, we'll try to, to, to go through the webinar uh, and, and explain it very well and, and have some time for you all to answer questions. And you can answer your questions and post them on the chat uh, uh, banner located uh, you know, on your webinar screen. So the webinar contact will, will start with uh, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic uh, and the new challenges you know, uh, improving infection control uh, via appropriate surfaces and cleaning disinfecting protocols. Uh, third one will be what is Corian solid surface? Uh, then we will uh, talk about this, uh, you know, the certification of Corian. Uh, how does this, the spread of infection on surfaces, uh, disinfection protocols applied uh, on surfaces versus, uh, you know, SARS COVID uh, 2, which is a uh, you know, a strain uh, that came, that COVID-19 came out from. That's what, you know, uh, healthcare officials say. Why Corian helps to prevent the spread of infection? Uh, there's zero opportunities with Corian solid surface where viruses and bacteria can spread. Uh, Corian is, is designed uh, for hygiene. Uh, how to clean and disinfect Corian. The routine maintenance of Corian. Uh, Corian, it's a better return on investment. Uh, Corian is perfectly uh, repairable. Uh, and then healthcare environments where comparison of most used surfaces at the healthcare environments, uh, flexible, ready to use solutions uh, from experienced partners. And uh, then we'll show uh, showcase uh, uh, some applications uh, in hospitals and healthcare facilities. So starting, starting with the new challenges of COVID-19 pandemic. So the world after uh, COVID-19 will be not as before COVID-19. And this is uh, obvious to everybody now. Uh, COVID-19 has impacted the whole planet and changed the perception about hygiene, cross-contamination, and uh, infection control. So the spread of virus and bacteria has become a challenge to all industries globally, specifically in the healthcare uh, industry. So uh, the largest companies and the greatest minds are exhausting all their resources to come up with a solution of how to treat, prevent, and create, you know, a medicine or a vaccination for uh, uh, this uh, virus. But in the time being, you know, there's other factors that need to be uh, helping to, to stop spread uh, this infection, especially in, in healthcare uh, facilities. So we at DuPont, uh, we have a product, which is Corian solid surface, and Corian helps, you know, prevent or stop uh, the, 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 the spread of, of COVID-19 if was, you know, uh, treated well. Uh, we know from, from previous studies that uh, healthcare uh, hospital acquisitions are the main causes of increased patient deaths and wasting away resources. Uh, and this is why COIN comes in to, to minimize these HAIs or uh, hospital acquired uh, infections. So to stop the spread of viruses and bacteria, all surfaces need to be decontaminated. Decontamination will be done by frequently disinfecting and cleaning the surfaces. This will need a high performance material 
that will withstand the daily abuse of cleaning and decrease the time uh, of the cleaning process. <clears throat> so bathrooms and patient rooms are now are, are the one of the high risk areas uh, in a hospital that can be sanctuary for the growth and spread of viruses and bacteria. In such high risk environments and places, the viruses and bacteria find an easy way to be transmitted to patients and healthcare providers. So our aim in this webinar uh, is to underline the key role of surfaces in hospitals and healthcare environments, introduce options uh, and solutions provided by Korean uh, uh, solid surfaces. So uh, improving infection control via appropriate surfaces and cleaning disinfecting protocols. This is the next slide that we're going to start, you know, uh, you know, explaining. So all the images that you see in these slides are, are applications of uh, Korean in healthcare uh, and uh, hospital environments. Uh, so everything uh, you're going to see as images, it's all uh, Korean. These are uh, real projects executed uh, across, the, across the globe. So what is Korean solid surface? So a lot of you maybe know Korean. Uh, a lot of you have heard Korean. Uh, and uh, uh, we... But in our region, let's be more specific, uh, Korean has become a generic name. Uh, Korean is only made by DuPont, a uh, US, US-based company. And Korean is the only product that has, has been in the market for over uh, 50 years since its invention and uh, released to the market in 1967. So uh, what is Korean made of? So what's the composite of this material? Okay, Corian is a composite material manufacturing, manufactured using a polymer uh, called uh, MMA or PMMA, which is methyl methyl acrylate, and from a mineral uh, called alumina trihydrate uh, or ATH for abbreviation, plus the addition of natural pigments to provide color and aesthetics it can be made either as a flat sheet or as a cast bowl or sink, known as a shape and the terminology of, uh, of Korea. Uh, acrylic, which is the MMA, it is either can be used as the basic polymer, but also have a different uh, performance characteristics and is an ex ex excellent UV and chemical resistance. And the mineral ATH, uh, use is extracted from bauxite, then refined and purified uh, by the Bayer process. It's a process that's used to purify the uh, uh, the acrylic, uh, sorry, the aluminum trihydrate. So uh, let's go with the ratios now uh, of of the uh, uh, the composition of Korean solid surface. So as we said, it's 56 to 65 percent minerals, which is which is the ATH. Uh, then it's 33 to 40 percent uh, acrylic polymer, which is the double MA, and zero to four percent pigments, or what we call environmentally friendly uh, pigment colorant. So it's two third mineral uh, filler, it is one third acrylic resin binder, or double MA, and environmentally uh, friendly uh, pigments. Uh, Korean is certified by a vast number of uh, certification agencies. So in hospitals and healthcare facilities, surfaces must deliver. So there's functional benefits of Korean, which are the hygiene, easy cleaning, durability, and no release of VOCs. VOCs is volatile organic compounds. So the design benefits so on top of the of the uh, uh, of the surface or functional benefits, there are design benefits. The design benefits of Korean, their specific configuration, its seamless installations, repairable and renewable, 
and has very beautiful uh, aesthetics. So DuPont as a company and Corian as a business uh, have obtained numerous eco labels and worldwide recognition, demonstrating the continuous innovation effort and developing improved sustainable solutions. Corian, the whole range or the specific types has received important independent certifications for its environmental performance like Green Guard, Rich Compliance, US Green Guard, uh, US Green Building Council, which is LEED, uh, Green Building ra Rating System, ISO 14025 Green Choice, Recycled Content, NGSS Green Partner of for Excellence, uh, SCAR Rating, and its hygienic performance also has been certified by prestigious independent institutions. For example, we have NSF International, UL Certified, and LGA for hygiene. So rest assured, Corian uh, has done all the work to be uh, specified uh, in top uh, healthcare uh, uh, facilities and also with majority of uh, Ministry of Health in different or multiple countries. And in the Middle East, Korean is specified at the Ministry of Health in Saudi Arabia and the Ministry of Health in Dubai and in Qatar and uh, across, across the GCC region and, and the Middle East. <clears throat> so now after, after discussing and showing, uh, you know, uh, what is Korea and what is Korean made of and all the certification of Korean. How now, now we want to talk about how the surfaces and the spread on infection works. So the cycle, this cycle you see on the screen now, it illustrates how infection is spread. So infected, infected patients transfer the virus and bacteria to both healthcare workers and surfaces around them. In return, from the healthcare workers or health worker hands and the surfaces, the viruses and bacteria are transferred to susceptible patients and back to the healthcare worker hands. This is a vicious cycle of infection spread that need to be controlled by proper isolation and hygiene practices. So on this table here, uh, it illustrates uh, the survival of pathogens on environmental surfaces. And as you can see, it's pretty uh, much that a lot of viruses and bacteria uh, have a lifespan of, uh, of a minimum from four hours to weeks or months, okay, on a specific surface. So if this surface is not cleaned well or performed well, okay, there is a huge risk that this virus, and in our case, COVID-19 or other germs, okay, would continue to spread and infect people and environments around it uh, continuously. So SARS COVID-2 COVID and surfaces uh, uh, there's some disinfection protocols. So the EDC, ECDC, which is European Center for Disease Prevention and Control, recommends the use of 0.1% sodium hypochlorite to eliminate SARS-CoV-2 uh, from surfaces. The image below that you see shows MRSA, a bacterium, can contaminate almost every surface in a patient room or any environment in a hospital. That's very scary. Why? Because we think, or maybe the patients, the healthcare uh, workers, everybody that would enter a specific room or environment inside a hospital would think that, you know, it's clean, but on the contrary, it's really uh, infected uh, by a germ or a virus or, a, or MRSA bacterium in this case. So if we don't have a, a, an appropriate surface like Corian being used and being cleaned or decontaminated, okay, uh, from the virus, then we have a higher risk of the spread uh, of the virus itself. 
We move to the second slide. Also, it's also discussing this disinfection protocols. So the below table here, uh, it lists the antimicrobial agents effective against coronavirus. So the coronaviruses that we're gonna talk about here or just illustrate very quickly is actually a human coronavirus 229E, uh, mouse hepatitis virus, uh, canine virus, transmissible gastroenteritis virus, and severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus, which is called as SARS-CoV-2, and which uh, I would believe that COVID-19 is a strain from the SARS. So the, uh, the cleaning approaches to this effect surfaces with the above viruses is by using 0.1% sodium hypochlorite with a dilution of one uh, ratio of one to 50, if household bleach has been used at an initial concentration of 5%. So after cleaning uh, with, this, with a neutral detergent is suggested for decontamination purposes, although no data on the effectiveness against SARS-CoV-2 are available, for surfaces that could be damaged by sodium hypochlorite, 70% concentration of ethanol is needed for decontamination after cleaning with a, with a neutral agent. So we're gonna show now, demonstrate a video uh, that shows the cleaning and disinfecting recommendations uh, for Corian uh, solid surface. So uh, we're gonna start the video now. Corian is the market-leading solid surface solution, ideal for healthcare, public spaces and food surface areas, where hygiene control is crucial. Corian solid surface is non-porous and germs like bacteria and viruses have nowhere to take root. The smooth seam leaves no space to trap dirt and germs. Corian is easy to clean and hygienic. When it looks clean, it really is clean. You can see the cleaning properties of Corian using a spray replicating germs only visible under UV light. You can clearly see the replicated germs being sprayed onto the Corian surface. Using a solution of 1 to 50 dilution of household bleach, watch how quick and effortless it is to clean. No viruses or bacteria are left on the Corian or permeated into the material. Because there are no joints, the surface is totally seamless, so there is nowhere for the bacteria or viruses to hide. If you're serious about hygiene, make it Corian Solid Surface. Okay, uh, so uh, you have seen the video. Uh, the video demonstrates, you know, how, how it's easily to clean uh, viruses, bacteria, and germs of Corian. Uh, so Corian will not be affected by chlorine, like stainless steel, for example, where chlorides could build up uh, under the dirt or stains and transforms into metallic salts and thus causes corrosion. And of course, when corrosion happens, uh, you know, uh, the, there will be cracks uh, on the surface itself, and then eventually bacteria, viruses uh, would would go there and start to uh, to uh, to grow and uh, multiply, and then spread the infection. So after this video, uh, we will move to describe why Corian helps to prevent the spread of infection. So the below images that you can see. Uh, are taken under an electron microscope to show a microscopic image of the surfaces presenting. So on the left side, uh, there's an image for granite surface, uh, where, as you can see very clearly, that voids are visible, where it's a perfect place for viruses and bacteria to settle and grow. It is the same case for marble, laminate, and wood. Uh, but for the sake of the presentation, we took only granite as an example. So the image on the right is actually an image of Corian solid surface uh, taken under the same uh, electron microscope with the same spectrum, uh, okay, of 200 uh, micrometers. Uh, and then you can see that there's no voids or micro cavities are present. And this is what makes Corian a hygienic product because it is non-porous. 
So why corian helps to prevent the spread of infection? So since corian is non-porous, this means that all germs that spread on the surface has nowhere to hide. So applying a disinfectant on the surface will kill and eliminate all germs on the surface as shown on the, on the before and after uh, images for both non-porous and porous surfaces. So the images that you see before, you know, we, we did an illustration here that shows, you know, the viruses on the surface. We, we, we disinfected the surface. Okay, the surface that's non-porous, which is, could be corian, stainless steel, or glass, you know, have, have uh, you know, no viruses present after the uh, disinfection. And, uh, you know, but on the porous surface, no matter how you clean it, you cannot clean every void or crack on it. So that's why corian is superior over uh, such type of, of surfaces. <clears throat> so viruses and bacteria have zero opportunities with corian solid surface. Why? Because, oh, first of all, corian is, comp corian is compliant to EN ISO 846 and ASTM D6329. So even after 20, 29 days of incubation, no bacterial growth is observed. Uh, it is classified as fungi static. And the, uh, the test for fungi, uh, which is taken here, for example, uh, Aspergillum niger, even with the carbon soil, we saw zero growth uh, of, uh, of these fungi and bacteria on Corian. So you can refer to these two tests done one one related to the u.s industry as astm and the other one for europe as asean <clears throat> uh, this uh, chart also shows uh, you know that viruses and bacteria have no space or no place uh, to thrive or grow on corian uh, surfaces based on iso uh, testing 22196 uh, 2011. So, Corian, designed for hygiene. So, products like laminate and other porous surfaces can harbor all types of germs, as described in previous slides. So, germs are commonly found in cracks, pores, delaminated countertops, sink rims, backsplashes, horizontal or vertical uh, surface seams. So, due to poor cleaning practices, germs may be left on surfaces and this will create a risk of cross-contamination and uh, the spread of germs uh, so as you can see in the below uh, on the slide there's the below pictures or images you can see that laminate uh, delaminates very easily if it was exposed to high humidity uh, after some time you know after, after being abused or harsh usage in, in an environment you can see here window cell uh, the first picture, the second picture as as a, as a as a side table, and then if you take uh, a microscopic image of uh, here we have used it over over unsealed granite, you can see that the bacteria here that is, for example E. coli it's present everywhere, but on Corian uh, the, the 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 number uh, of uh, of bacteria is very minimal, and this means when you clean it, it's gonna be washed away as we have seen. Uh, on the on the video we presented uh, a couple a couple minutes earlier. So uh, exploiting the design flexibility of Corian solid surface is to deliver superior hygiene. So what are the key benefits uh, for for the superior hygienic properties of Corian? First of all, to remove germ traps, uh, speed up disinfection process and reduce the risk of poor cleaning practices. So the, the benefits are, show, are showcased clearly in the image where we have the image here on the right. So we have, uh, first of all, uh, number one is a seamless integrated sink. You can see that the sink and the top looks like one piece, although they are two pieces joined together seamlessly. That's the beauty of Corian, and we know that uh, you know, our, our fabricators that are online with us now know exactly what we are talking about. Uh, number two is, is, a, is, a, is a, we, that, that for healthcare industries or applications, we can uh, do an anti-drip edge, which is this will not allow 
you know, any fluids uh, or any water, anything to overflow from the top uh, for the from the countertop to the cabinets or the floor where it could be easily, you know, spread all over the uh, the environment, the hospital environment. And third, you can see it's a cope backsplash, which is means that it's easier to clean. It will not harbor uh, any, uh, will not have a sharp edge or a sharp corner or sharp angle like a 90 degrees, uh, you know, backsplash that can only be used uh, with granite and stainless steel because they don't have, and, and glass, because they don't have such properties like Corian. <clears throat> so, so thanks to its acrylic component found in the Corian, it makes it an ex excellent chemical resistant product. Uh, professional cleaners and harsh chemical disinfectants, including ethanol and isopropanol, with exposure below 16, uh, leaves no marks. So you, uh, if, if you want to, uh, for example, take a look at the chemical uh, properties or resistant properties of Corian, you know, it's found on uh, our website, uh, corian.uk, you go under documentation, and you can find all the technical uh, documents related uh, to, to Corian solid surface from uh, chemical resistance, uh, chemical disinfectants that does not uh, harm or harsh Corian and also fire performance and performance properties. So uh, all the documents that you want, you can see it on our uh, website, corian.uk or corian.com for North America. So now we go uh, for the routine maintenance of Corian. So as you, as you know, every product needs to be have a routine maintenance. So uh, Cleaning with light abrasive uh, can expose a rough surface where germs can become trapped. So compared with stainless steel, as you can see in the below pictures, uh, chlorides could build up under dirt or stains and transform into metallic salts, thus, or uh, thus you know, causing uh, uh, corrosion. Corian will not be affected with light abrasives and will not react with, with the chlorides. So uh, why we're showing here stainless steel? Uh, because stainless steel is actually uh, considered to be a traditional surface used in healthcare uh, environments, hospitals, clinics, uh, due to its you know, uh, non-porous characteristics. Uh, but it has a lot of disadvantages where uh, it's still a metallic, uh, it can uh, corrode, uh, scratches can appear, it, there's no, it, it is always, uh, there seems visible and the design flexi flexibilities are very minimal and also the aesthetics, uh, the aesthetics characteristics of it is very, you know, let's say dull, which is, uh, there's only one color you can use, which is the stainless steel color, which is like chrome, it's a metallic. With Corian, you have over 100 colors to choose from. So. Why Corian also is a better return on investment. Uh, the graph uh, illustrates uh, the life cycle analysis of Corian compared to other surfaces. So the initial investment is higher with Corian versus other surfaces. As you can see at the initial, it's a little bit higher. Okay, not that much. Uh, but after several years, and depending on the surfaces used as replacement of other surfaces is required, and this will result and a surge of additional cost for the other services. That is why Corian uh, will save you money and lives on the long run. So at the beginning or at the initial stage, uh, you will pay a little bit more for Corian, okay? But at the, at the shorter and longer term, you'll figure out that, you know, Corian has a good return on investment and saves you a lot of money and a lot of time, you know, for replacement and, uh, uh, repairing uh, uh, routines. So this chart also, the bar chart, uh, illustrates a comparison between Corian and HPL, which high pressure laminate for lab benches and reception desks over a 10 year and 10 years period. So as explained in the previous slide, the initial cost with Corian is higher than other surfaces. In this case, we are here that we are, uh, you know, uh, presenting HPL versus Corian. 
So uh, over a 10 year usage period, more money is spent on HPL than Corian on cleaning, periodic maintenance, and the replacement cost. So in average, if we wanna talk in euros here, uh, so uh, there's 80 euros per linear meter will cost a healthcare environment or healthcare hospital or a clinic to uh, in 10 years, every 10, in, in a span of 10 years uh, on or over coin costs. So you can see that in the, in the red here, this is the replacement cost. And in the dark green, it's the periodic maintenance cost. So these are actually, you know, very high compared when you install Corian uh, as a solid surface in your environment. So Corian not only will save lives, but also will save you money on the short and long term. As you may all know, Corian is perfectly repairable. You know, what we use to, to promote Corian for, health, for uh, you know, interior designers, architects, healthcare providers, owner, we say that Corian is repairable, renewable on site. Uh, so Corian is repairable and renewable on site, as we said. It will be done with basic hand tools used by maintenance professionals. So the maintenance professionals that we are talking about here are our authorized Corian fabricators that uh, we uh, we have a huge network of these uh, partners that we call them and the uh, Middle East region uh, in Saudi Arabia in Dubai in UAE Oman Qatar Kuwait Bahrain Lebanon Jordan uh, all trained uh, highly expertise the uh, you know authorized Korean fabricators that I able that are able to to, to, this, to fabricate Korean and also repair Korean whenever uh, they are called for for a repair job. Uh, <clears throat> here you can see images where a Korean salt surface has been chipped at the edge. Uh, the the fabricator will go examine, you know, cut a piece out of the Korean, uh, the damaged Korean, then bring a, a, a corrective piece uh, from uh, from the same color of Korean, then the seam, then it's sanded, uh, and then it will be uh, polished. Uh, this second slide will show you, you know, how, how with only a random orbital sander, scratches on Corian can be in minutes become invisible uh, because it is you can it can be repaired on site and uh, it's very easy to do. And our fabricators, you know, uh, do this on a daily basis. And as you can see, the removal of scratches on the images, how clear it is, and you know, scratches, and then with the orbital sand, the scratches are already uh, removed. So now we would like to showcase or present the difference of Koi and other uh, surfaces that's been used in, in the healthcare industry. So the table shows the comparison between Korean, stainless steel, HPL, which is plastic laminate, casted plastics, and quartz. As you can see, Corian strikes all 10 requirements, including the featured highlighted in red that are critical for keeping surfaces clean in the most stringent virus-free environments. So uh, as you can see, the red ones are, you know, for, to, be, to be actually, uh, you know, uh, a highlighted feature for a surface, you need first to hit the, the first five uh features which is non-porous seamless construction repairable will not peel chip or dent and bleach cleanable corian is the only surfaces with all the surfaces that we just uh you know uh, uh, uh talked about uh strikes all of them and then it is uh, have other features like the fire rating uh, suitable for what environments design flexibility color options and the price and as you can see the price of corian is is fairly you know, in, in a very decent range between all other, uh, you know, uh, surfaces, we, we are comparing it to Korea. So uh, design with Korean solid surface, flexible, ready to use solutions from experienced partners. So uh, we as Korean and DuPont, we have what we call, uh, you know, channel, uh, actually design commercial partners 
Uh, we have two companies uh, in Europe. One's called Sea Line by uh, or Crea Diffusion, which produces a, a, a Sea Line benches. Okay, which ready 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 to install benches. And we have a NOAS, which is uh, you know have ready to install surgical and healthcare sinks. And uh, of course, you can uh, find the links of these two uh, uh, you know CDC partners on our website. And also, these designs also can be uh, implemented and fabricated locally through our uh, local fabricators or authorized foreign fabricators. Uh, as soon as you submit your design to them, uh, they're more than happy to, to do that for you. So uh, starting from uh, on these uh, pages uh, now on these slides, we're going to showcase uh, show, uh, you know, Korean applications installed in all major environments in hospital. Uh, everything, as I mentioned at the beginning of the uh, of the presentation or the webinar, that all the pictures that you see are Korean applications. So uh, uh, in a hospital, uh, patient room is very important. It's where the patient is is being you know uh, you know treated. Uh, you can see Korean uh, here in the first picture, uh, been as an application as an over bed uh, head unit. Uh, then here there's a full on the on the right side. It's a full patient is in the room with a, with a full Korean application from the walls to the side cabinets to the over uh, bed unit. Everything in this room uh, is made out of Korean. Uh, then the second area was operating theaters. It's a, it's a very important place in the, uh, in the, uh, in, in the hospital. Uh, why? Because it's very critical. It has to be clean at all times. It has to be disinfected at all times. So uh, we, uh, Korean has been, uh, we have installed a lot of Korean as, uh, as uh, uh, you know, interior cladding for, for, uh, for operating rooms. Why? Because of the seamless, uh, you know, characteristics and benefits, uh, the coved corners, uh, uh, you know, uh, impact resistant, uh, the chemical resistant, all these features of Korean, uh, of Korean you know, nominated to be the number one uh, application on uh, in healthcare uh, or in, on operating rooms. Uh, second slide. Uh, it's also it's been used in testing areas and labs. Uh, also in uh, receptions and lobbies. Uh, you know the aesthetics of Korean gives the the area where it's installed uh, some uh, war and modern looks. Uh, nurse stations also. Uh, and we have in Saudi Arabia, we have uh, a lot of the prestigious and top healthcare uh, facilities uh, and hospitals have used Korean uh, in their in their uh, in their uh, buildings. For example, we have the National Guard hospitals, we have King Faisal Hospital, we have uh, King Saud, uh, you know, University and Hospital, King Fahad Medical Hospital, Sulaiman Al Habib Hospitals. Uh, and a lot of, of other hospitals that that actually only use Korean, you know, for for their countertops, nurse stations, patient rooms, waiting areas. Uh, yeah, big, not because Korean looks nice, but because Korean per performs. Uh, this is also an example for waiting rooms, cafeteria, and food surface. As you may know, uh, Korean is NSF certified. Which is have a it's it's it's, full, it's safe for the contact of food. So any food you put on Korean, it it stays safe. So it does not you know transfer any any uh, uh, organic compounds to it. Uh, also in neonatal uh, pediatrics, uh, and uh, of course uh, hand washing uh, stations. So I believe uh, we have came to the end of this uh, presentation. I hope uh, that uh, I didn't take a lot of time and I didn't bore you with all the information I, I provided you. Uh, now we will be ready uh, to take your uh, your questions. Uh, all right. So uh, we have received many questions. Good. And we will not be able, but, but uh, you know, uh, we have a question now from Imran. Even quartz can be used for seamless fabrication. Well, uh, Imran, you know, what we have seen in the market, uh, quartz cannot be uh, seamless unless it's used with one slab. 
So what I mean here by one slab is that you can use only one piece of quartz for a specific area. But if you need to extend this quartz to another area, uh, you need to bring an, another slab and, 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 you know, adhere it to the, to the first one. And of course, uh, you know, a seam, it will, the seam will be visible. Some, you know, we have seen very advanced techniques that they try to, to do a laser cut seam. Okay, but uh, this seam actually, uh, it's still visible under, under the naked eye if you go closely to it. Or if you bring like a small microscope, you will see it. Eventually, uh, the, uh, what we want to showcase here, and as we showed under the electron microscope, that uh, there is voids and, and, and cracks that you don't see it in the naked eye. So that's why we, we put it under a microscope. So a gra a quartz uh, is, is not seamless. It, is, it has seams. <clears throat> so uh, we have another question. Uh, how you see the future after uh, uh, COVID-19? Uh, OK. Uh, so, uh, so we are in regular contact here with uh, uh, with with healthcare providers, uh, also uh, the Ministry of Health in uh, uh, in the in specific countries that we are operating in, and we are always uh, you know discussing you know how we can you know help them uh, stop spread the infection, uh, and through the right consultation, uh, we we see that you know uh, even the COVID nineteen is still as a pandemic. Uh, we can help with some products like Corian uh, to, 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 to minimize the, uh, the spread uh, of the infection by using the right, uh, the right product as Corian uh, design. So uh, we have a question saying, can you provide fabricators in Saudi Arabia? Uh, yes, of course, Oscar, this is, uh, you know, we have, we have over, uh, you know, uh, 15 to 20 authorized Korean fabricators in Saudi Arabia located all over the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, uh, starting from uh, the major cities, Dammam, Riyadh, uh, Jeddah, Medina, Mecca. So uh, yes, uh, we will actually, uh, uh, I will take the note here to send you an email on that. Oscar, no problem. And uh, just to, just as a reminder that, uh, you know, uh, at the end, probably there's a lot of questions asked. And if we cannot, you know, answer them all online uh, now, we will reply via email to them directly once uh, once been asked. Uh, so another question is that um, this question. Let me see. Based on the example given in the presentation on some Korean application, can this application be executed in Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia? Uh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, you know, our trained and uh, Authorized Korean fabricators, uh, the majority of them have done the proper training. They went to our technical training center in, uh, in Belgium, Genk, uh, where they have uh, conducting all the basic training for Korean fabrication. And also, uh, you know, they have a certificate uh, for that. Uh, and they can take any design and execute it and install it for you uh, anywhere in Saudi Arabia. And also, let's start. We have uh, forgot to mention uh, also the the lower Gulf, which is in uh, in the UAE, Qatar, Oman, Bahrain, uh, you know, uh, Kuwait. Also in Lebanon, also in Jordan, and also we we have in North Africa. Uh, and just to let you know, also we have people asking, you know, uh, where can we buy Korean sheets? Uh, Actually, Korean sheets are our products are are, are bought uh, or uh, purchased through uh, our official distributors. Our official distributor in Saudi Arabia is Nisma Unitrade, and our official distributor for the Lower Gulf uh, is uh, Danube Building Materials. And uh, we have our distributor in Jordan is Metra, and in Lebanon uh, we have uh, you know Building R S and uh, and. Um, a free line trading, uh, uh, which these are uh, authorized Korean fabricators there. Uh, so we have another question here. How to achieve seamless connection in Korean, for example, sync under uh, countertop? Oh, very good question. Uh, you know, uh, as we said, uh, when you take a Korean sync and a Korean sheet, 
and you want to adhere them together, they are adhered by uh, a Corian joint adhesive. What is a Corian joint adhesive? It's actually liquid Corian, in which you know uh, we uh, we put the uh, the fabricators actually, you know, uh, they adhere them both with with uh, with the Corian joint adhesive, and then they clamp it until it's dry, and then after that, they, by using a router, okay, and then uh, they rub all the uh, extra edge, they trim it. And then they sand it, and then they polish it, and that's how it becomes, uh, uh, you know, seamless. Uh, no, no, no screw and no glue. It's a joint, and it's a Korean joint adhesive. So it is actually the same material, the glue, or let's call it the adhesive. It's the same material of of the Korean. So it's only just a liquid Korean, and uh, that's how it becomes 100% seamless. So we have another question. Uh, could you please send us some sort of certificate of DuPont coin concerning COVID-19? You know, at this point, you know, we don't have a specific, and nobody has a specific uh, certificate of any surface or product for, for COVID-19. But as we explained, you know, that a lot of testing has been done because the COVID-19 is a virus like all other viruses. It's a coronavirus. It's like SARS. Uh, it's like uh, other bacteria. So... Uh, it can be uh, cleaned and disinfected by by uh, by using chloride or ethanol. Uh, so, uh, but if you go also on our uh, Korean website, you can find you know the chemical resistant and the certification of of uh, the hygienic per uh, properties of of Korean. So please explain to everyone on 10 years warranty terms. Okay. As as a lot of you know, Korean has 10 years product warranty or with what we call manufacturing warranty that uh, uh, if a sheet comes from our manufacturing plant and is delivered to our authorized Korean fabricators and our distributors, if there's any manufacturing defect like bub air bubbles, for example, cracks, uh, the discolor, uh, you know, uh, instability in the UV resistance, if something happens in these 10 years, as a manufacturing defect, Corian will cover it, DuPont will cover it, okay? We have another uh, higher uh, warranty, which is called 10 years installed warranty. Uh, this 10 years installed warranty is only applicable uh, through uh, quality network fabricators, uh, which they uh, give a 10 years warranty on the installation of Corian that DuPont will, will handle. Of course, the warranty uh, document is found on our website, also Korean at korean.uk or korean.com under the documentation tab. Okay. Uh, I think we are, uh, you know, we still have at less, uh, less than 10 minutes or at 10 minutes for this webinar. Uh, uh, we're still having uh, questions, waiting for questions to be asked uh please feel free to ask and for other questions that we cannot ask now we will actually uh reply to you with with an email Okay, another question here. If a hospital or a clinic has a limited budget, which suits Montelli as an option, will it be suitable in terms of resistance to COVID-19? Okay, uh, Dr. Abilati, thank you for this question. Uh, yes, uh, you know, uh, Montelli has some chemi has chemical resistance, but let me tell you, uh, Montelli uh, is not an acrylic-based product or polymer. It's made of, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's made of polyester, uh, so the measure, it has very, uh, it has like 6% uh, uh, double MA, and the, the rest is, uh, is polyester, and also what's what you call modified acrylic surfaces, and it's made of ATH. So uh, uh, Montelli is considered to be, uh, yes, somehow a chemical resistant, but not as high performance as, as the Corian. Okay, because of it, its polyester composition, uh, and you know, as Montelli is because it's a polyester composition, you know, you cannot thermoform it uh, the way you can do with Corian. So you have limited somehow design capabilities there. 
so uh, if it's a, it's a it's a budget constrained uh, project, you can use Montelli. Uh, of course, not an issue, but we would suggest to go with Coria. And if you have any project in in, uh, in your mind, let's discuss it offline. Uh, we have also another question. Uh, any new additions in colors? Uh, yes, uh, in 2019, we introduced 19 new colors, uh, which is complex aesthetic colors uh, that showcasing, you know, uh, the, the, the natural marble look. They are the Prima collection and the, uh, the Onyx collection. And we have also the uh, Terrazzo collection. Uh, of course, you know, as you may know, or uh, DuPont always, uh, you know, uh, works hardly to develop uh, the colors of Korean every year or every two years. So uh, we just expect in the next year or year after new colors will be available uh, for, for uh, to be added to, to the color portfolio of, of Korea. So uh, also we have a question, uh, which hospitals uh, is Korean been applied in uh, Saudi Arabia? Uh, we mentioned that uh, before, but I will repeat it again. Uh, as we said, now we, are, we, have, uh, we have awarded with NISMA and partners, uh, the largest, uh, you know, the, the five hospitals for the National Guard, which are under execution now. Uh, there's two hospitals in Jeddah, one in Riyadh, the one in Qasim, and one in Taif. Uh, we have uh, Korean specified in King Faisal Medical City, uh, also in uh, Dr. Al Habib uh, Hospital. Uh, uh, the most recent uh, project for Dr. Habib Hospital was Al Khobar Hospital. Uh, we have with the King Fahad Medical City, uh, also, and uh, King Saud University. Uh, we have uh, maybe seven or eight years ago, maybe nine years ago, to be more specific, uh, we have executed the largest, uh, you know, Korean project for the dental clinics uh, at this uh, uh, at this uh, university. Uh, also, uh, there's a lot of public and, and the public and private hospitals where Korean is specified and and, and implemented or executed and installed. So please explain about Korean exterior cladding. You know, uh, uh, of course, you know, exterior cladding by itself needs a webinar, <laughs> a full webinar. Uh, you know, uh, the, just to give you just a, a quick uh, uh, benefits about the Korean, why Korean can be used exterior cladding, because, uh, you know, Korean can withstand uh, and uh, environmental, uh, external environmental uh, uh, you know, harshness, uh, because uh, it's UVA, UVB resistant, uh, so the color will not change. Some Korean colors that are specified for exterior cladding will not change color uh, or color fastness over, over five years period or over 10 years period. At some point, we give 20 years product warranty on the color that will not change. Uh, also, uh, you know, because Korean is impact resistant, scratch resistant, uh, stain resistant, uh, repairable new on site, uh, that is why, you know, Corian can be specified as exterior cladding. And, and uh, we have the uh, a, a very uh, prestigious project with Aramco now, where Corian is specified as exterior cladding for that. Uh, also, yes, uh, going back to the question where and which hospitals in the region, of course, uh, you know, Corian is installed in Cleveland Hospital in Dubai and in Abu Dhabi uh, and in uh, Qatar also. Uh, in AUB and AUH in uh, Lebanon, and then uh, Jordan, it's Al uh, Hussein uh, King Hussein uh, uh, Center uh, Cancer Center, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so there is, uh, you know, corn is installed almost, uh, you know, uh, and all, and also in CMC hospitals, Lebanon, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, and in Jordan, uh, which is Clomenso Medical Center. So besides healthcare, in which other segments Korean is also used? That's a good question. Korean is used in, in majority of, of market segments, uh, healthcare, hospitality, food and beverage, uh, 
public spaces, transportation like airports, uh, metro stations, uh, retail shops, uh, uh, high-end restaurants, casual dining restaurants, fast, fast food restaurants, uh, museums, uh, just name any industry uh, that you uh, you want to install Korean in, you will find Korean there. So we have a question here, National Guard Hospital in Medina, surgical rooms was cladding. Yes, thank you, Salem. Uh, we have installed, you know, surgical rooms and cladding inside. Uh, Salem is one of our authorized Korean fabricators. Uh, also, we have uh, some uh, med clinic. Uh, so Denat at Emirate Hospitals, Burjil Hospital, Mafra Hospital in UAE. Uh, yes, it are other also hospitals where Korean has been installed. We have another question. There will be a more webinars coming. Okay, no, this is just an announcement. So thank you, Andrea. Yes, uh, we have uh, next week, uh, June 11th, uh, we will, I will be conducting another webinar for Korean in hospitality, okay? And how Korean uh, can be used in this market segment, whereas hospitality means hotels, uh, means, uh, you know, food, uh, as food and beverage, uh, and, uh, you know, entertainment uh, centers, all of that. So we still have less than four minutes uh, to go. Uh, uh, I hope that, uh, you know, you have uh, enjoyed the, this webinar. Uh, and please forgive me if I forget anything or I went too fast in presenting this webinar. Uh, but we are always uh, here uh, to answer your questions. Um, as you may all know, or some of, the, some of you, I will just uh, write down uh now my uh, uh my email address so uh for any uh questions please don't hesitate uh, to email me it's kamal.kansu uh, at dupont.com and now it's there on the chat i hope you can see it now and uh, so me and our technical team and our uh, colleagues in, in, uh, in the region and UAE, uh, my colleague Mohammed Kafarani will be also uh, helping you to answer any questions. Uh, our technical team in Europe will also is delighted to answer any questions. Uh, and also please for uh, your inquiries, uh, contact us, DuPont, Kamal or Mohammed. And then you can contact, uh, you know, our authorized uh, uh, or our official distributors, Nesma Unitrade in Saudi, Danu Building Materials in the UAE, Metra in uh, Jordan, uh, Building Aras and Free Line Trading uh, uh, in Lebanon, and uh, you know, and for your fabrication inquiries, uh, you can contact our, you know, authorized Korean fabricators in Saudi Arabia and UAE and in the lower Gulf, also in Lebanon and Jordan. So, uh, okay, uh, we will reply to all questions, uh, you know, uh, via email as I uh, promised, and we will do that uh, hopefully very soon. Uh, yes, we will share the links presentation. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Jan. Thank you, everybody, for uh, the thank you notes. Uh, now we would like, you know, we would like to thank you uh, for subscribing and attending this webinar. Uh, this won't be successful without your attendance. Uh, we are here, uh, you know. Uh, uh, to to uh, to help you to assist you and we are also looking forward to uh, to see you again on next week's webinar uh, June 11th uh, Thursday same time 10 a.m. So just for clarification, Lower Gulf stands for UAE, Qatar, Oman, Bahrain, and Kuwait. Uh, so, uh, because we have a question here saying, you know, uh, what does lower Gulf countries include? Of course, uh, the Gulf includes this lower Gulf plus Saudi Arabia. Uh, and also, we, uh, there is Iraq covered also by our region. We have, we cover Iraq also. So, uh, less than 30 seconds. I would like again to thank you all for participating, being on this call. 
uh, thanks for you know Korean uh, team that was assisting me on this webinar, uh, and thanks for also uh, the host Wibiko uh, for their for their assistance too. Thank you all. Wish you uh, a pleasant day, and see you next Thursday. Bye bye.